brand new episode of the Rhapsody of Realities. Have you been in a situation where you're applying the Word of God, but you're not really seeing the results that you want to see? Well, in today's episode, the 14th of September, Pastor Chris teaches us how understanding helps you apply the Word correctly. So in other words, there is a correct way to apply the Word and the way to do it is by understanding what the word says accurately. Let's begin with Proverbs chapter 8 verse 5. The Bible says, O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Understanding God's word is crucial to applying it effectively in our lives. The Bible says wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. You can read this in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. The Lord Jesus himself emphasized the significance of understanding in Matthew chapter 13, verses 3 to 8, when he told the parable of the sower. In his illustration, he explained that as the sower went forth to sow his seeds, they fell into different grounds. Some fell by the wayside and the birds of the air came and picked them up and they had no chance to grow. The Lord Jesus, however, highlighted the problem of this group of people to be their lack of understanding of the word they heard. In Matthew chapter 13, verse 19, he said, When any one heareth the word of the kingdom and understands it not, then cometh the wicked one and catch away that which was sown in his heart. This is which received seed by the wayside. The practical application of God's word hinges on your understanding of it. You can't put to work God's word that you don't understand. Without understanding, it becomes challenging to implement biblical principles and teachings effectively in your daily life. It's one of the reasons we encourage people to study this devotional, Rhapsody of Realities, every day. It serves as a powerful tool for enhancing your understanding of God's Word. In it, we present biblical truths in simple and clear communication making it easier for readers to not only comprehend but also apply God's truths in practical ways. By breaking down scriptural thoughts into understandable terms, Rhapsody of Realities equips you to live out your faith confidently and purposefully each day. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, the Bible says, Study and be eager and do your utmost to present yourself to God approved tested by trial, a workman who has no cause to be ashamed, correctly analyzing and accurately dividing, rightly handling and skillfully teaching the word of truth. This is read from the Amplified Classic Version. Prioritize understanding God's word so that you may confidently and faithfully apply it in your life knowing that through understanding, you can fully embrace and act upon the truths of Scripture. Praise the Lord! Now let's give thanks to the Lord, as knowledge has been imparted to us through today's Rhapsody. Say, Dear Father, thank you for the wisdom and understanding you grant me through your word. Thank you for the Holy Spirit, who grants me deep insight into the truths and mysteries of the kingdom. Thank you for granting me a discerning heart to comprehend and rightly apply the principles of the kingdom in my daily life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Don't forget to study the Word of God today. 
You know, Job said, "I have cherished your word more than my necessary food." You can read this in Job chapter twenty-three, verse twelve. Just as food is necessary for your body's physical growth and development, your human spirit must be fed on the word. That is the key to a life full of excellence, grace, and glory. You can pay attention to these scriptures today. Psalms one hundred nineteen, verse one hundred and thirty. James chapter one, verses twenty-two to twenty-five. Second Timothy. Chapter two, verse fifteen, and Proverbs chapter four, verse seven. Hallelujah! Thank you so much for tuning in today. Come back tomorrow for another powerful episode. And as always, brethren, we love you. God bless you. received salvation if you've never received Christ into your heart if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about this is your moment say these words say oh Lord God I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God I believe he died to save me I believe God raised him from the dead, and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day, and by my faith in Him, I receive eternal life. Into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations! Welcome to the family of God. Rhapsody of realities, giving you life for meaning every day. My life made perfect with rhapsody.